The big news event last month was, of course, Donald Trump's inauguration as the 45th President of the United States. Despite all the backlash surrounding his rise to power, market sentiment remained fairly positive. In fact, just a few days after Trump was sworn in as president, the S&P 500 index reached a new all-time high. And the Dow Jones Industrial Average broke the 20,000 barrier for the first time in its 120-year history. That said, Trump's first week in the White House hasn't been entirely without controversy, as he's already uh, issued an executive order to build a wall on the Mexican border, and he's adamant that Mexico will end up paying the bill for it. Well, last month, the Supreme Court gave its official ruling on Article 50, and in the end, they agreed with the High Court judgment that the government would have to seek approval from Parliament before beginning the official process of leaving the EU. Well, the vote took place last night, and an overwhelming majority of MPs, 498 of them versus 114, voted to allow Theresa May to start the negotiations. She still hopes to start by the end of March, and in the meantime, she's promised to publish a white paper detailing the government's plans for Brexit. It was a fairly mixed month for developed equity markets, with the US faring better than the UK. The S&P 500 index rose 2%, while the FTSE 100 index lost half a percent. It was a strong month for emerging markets, as the MSCI Emerging Markets Index gained 4%. Chinese equities in particular had a strong month, with the MSCI China index surging nearly 7%. This follows a fairly disappointing 2016, in which the China index returned just 1% overall. In the currency markets, the US dollar faltered slightly as it lost 2% against the pound, while other major currencies, such as the euro and the yen, gained against the pound. Finally, the Consumer Prices Index, which measures inflation in the UK, has been growing steadily over the last few months and in December it reached a two and a half year high of 1.6%. I think it's fair to say that all eyes are still very much on Donald Trump and his next steps as the President of the US. It's obviously still very early days into his tenure and markets won't necessarily remain bullish for long. Suffice to say there's plenty of uncertainty ahead and at the moment we're taking precautions in our multi-asset funds. Duration remains low and we currently have some put options in place protecting us against a major decline in the US equity market.